everybody it's the monsoon skincare essentials video today i mean monsoon is my favorite time of the year and uh, i don't know if it has started raining in your part of the world but here in bangalore it is chucking down rain for the past three days it has been very cloudy and that makes me very happy i know bangalore traffic gets horrendous when uh, it rains but i love the rains who doesn't <laughs> Now, it is important to have a very clarifying skincare regime especially in the monsoon because you know the rain absorbs or soaks up some of the pollution and it just gets transferred onto your skin and the humidity opens up your pores and it makes it more susceptible to all of these uh, elements out there in the city environment and causes for more pimples and obviously you want to avoid that and to start off with I would recommend this body shop tea tree skin clarifying facial cleanser whenever it comes to clarifying or uh, something that has to do with acne or something that has to do with removing pollution i reach for this this has tea tree oil it leaves your skin feeling very fresh it leaves that kind of a pepperminty feeling on your face as well so i absolutely love this i've been using this for years now and this is also one of those products that actually helped clear my acne as much as the face wash or a cleanser actually cleanses your face it is actually important to scrub off the dead skin and also that tough bit of dirt that has reached into your pores so to do that i use the aroma therapy skin care essentials blossom kochar aroma magic mineral glow scrub i love this stuff because this is all natural i've been using this for quite a while i mean can you guys see it i've gone through this much of the tube and uh, the granules in the scrub are actually very uh, tiny made of almond meal and it is not gritty or it is not very harsh on my skin especially when i've had a rainy day where i've gotten drenched and my skin is completely soaked in water and feeling vulnerable it is 100 percent free of harsh chemicals alcohols parabens phthalates sulfates artificial coloring and fragrance as for a face mask i feel like when you've completely gotten drenched your skin kind of loses a bit of its charm it is quite easy for it to get dull and dilapidated looking so what i do is apply this blossom kochar aroma magic reviving oxy pack this is a very nice kind of a rejuvenating face mask and again this is 100% parabens harsh chemicals alcohols uh, artificial fragrance and color free and it has organic aloe vera gel and lavender essential oil and it is also good for detoxifying and it locks moisture and conditions and heals your skin and the texture of it is very much gel like it is completely clear like can you guys see that <laughs> and i love it i just apply it leave it on for about 15 or 20 minutes and then i go rinse my face off and i feel like i've got a brand new like a glow and a healthy soft supple feeling skin as well next i'm going to follow that with my trusty banjara soft and young premium rose water as far as i am concerned nothing gets better than rose water for me whether it is to remove makeup or it is to put on a toner and i use this as both makeup remover before starting my cleanser and as a toner after my face mask as well a wonderful blend of rose oil rose extract and banjara's premium rose water will lift and revitalize your skin to feel fresh it hasn't got any harsh chemicals in it it just has rose oil and gulab arc rose extract it cannot get more natural and gentle on your skin so this is what i use and to moisturize my skin i use the same body shop tea tree uh, mattifying lotion purifying tea tree oil from the foothills of mount kenya it absolutely mattifies my skin again it is very gentle it prevents any kind of clogging of pores and it prevents any pimples i use this sometimes in the night as well so this is the best moisturizer as far as i am concerned the same goes to your lip with drenching in rain it kind of goes chappy and to counter that i use this veda ayurveda lip balm this one is all natural has no chemicals everything about this thing is ayurvedic it smells of chocolate and strawberry and oh my god it feels so moisturizing i love it every single time i apply it i'm like 
craving dessert which is a minus but <laughs> I love 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 the lip feel of this and I will highly recommend this one you need to moisturize your hands your legs and uh, for that, I use this uh, Nivea body lotion, uh, smooth milk, long lasting uh, smoothness. This one is for uh, dry skin and it has a shea butter uh, extract in it. I love everything that has uh, shea butter in it and uh, it smells so good. This one is one of those moisturizers that is easy to apply. It is very creamy and it does not leave your skin feeling very oily. It absorbs very fast on your skin as well. It smells very nice, feels very nice when I apply. So I don't know what else you need from a moisturizer. As for my hand cream, I am still using my Body Shop hand cream in the strawberry flavor. As far as I am concerned, there is nothing better than this. It is a kind of a peachy colored cream smells absolutely of strawberries and summer and strawberry ice cream and uh, I have probably told that a million times that uh, this thing moisturizes your palms, your cuticles, everything else without making your hands feel greasy. It does not leave greasy marks on your phone screen so I love this one. I apply it every day regardless of whether it is monsoon or otherwise now another thing that is very easily forgotten to care for are feet i am somebody who is very big on moisturizing my feet unfortunately sometimes it so happens that i do have to walk in the rain in puddles and uh, as much as i definitely come home and wash my feet despite how much i care for it it always tends to crack to be very honest and uh, yeah, I don't want to give more ammunition to my cracked feet and I counter it with this Vadi Herbal Foot Cream. It is a kind of a yellowy, minty colored cream. It smells of uh, club. It has club oil and sandalwood. Wash your feet, apply it like two or three days on your uh, cracked heels. If you have very severely cracked heels, put on a pair of socks and go to bed and you will see like on the third day that your feet is already like much better. So I love this stuff. And finally, even though this is not a skincare stuff at all, I want to recommend using this Organica Luxury by Nature 100% Organic Moroccan Argan Oil Hair Serum. I mean, it is important to give your locks some moisture as well. I mean, as much as water is hydrating, it really is not hydrating when it falls on your skin and on your hair. It uh, strips your hair and your skin of all the essential oils and to uh, put it right back in place, especially for my hair, I use a couple of pumps of this and uh, work it into my tips and then work it all the way up to the top. I think that's everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you feel like I have forgotten to mention something, feel free to comment it down below so I can remember and probably use it in my own skincare routine hit the like button if you like this video and uh, subscribe if you're new here don't forget to share this video because it is the monsoon and everybody needs to care for their skin and i will see you guys in my next one love you bye